Seaton and Tams and Greenway. Ladies, lovely to see you. First off, Natalie. Unfortunately, Surrey Storm, they were delayed on the M40. I know you were yourself. You managed to make it here. But they only arrived here about five to seven, so they haven't had much time to prepare. Will that affect things at all? No, I don't think so. These girls are very experienced and there's been many, we've played many matches all across the country. Sometimes you just cannot account for the traffic. So mentally in terms of your preparation, the girls have got their food with them, they've eaten properly, they've hydrated properly and they're ready for this match. Okay, in terms of seven stars, they won the last game against uh, Celtic Dragons, lost the three previous games, but those Lightning two weeks ago, they were leading at half time yeah. and against Mavs the week before, they lost in the last 90 seconds. So, so is consistency the key for them? I think it's a... It could be quite a good time to play Surrey Storm because they've just lost three of the last four games. You've got your crowd supporting you. I think the top two teams, we wanted to play their home matches. Otherwise, you don't really care who the opposition is. You just want to win. <laughs> yeah. Realistically, how far down the table can we go in terms of teams that, that could make the playoffs? Um, it's going to be OK. Well, uh, Tamsin, you were in action at the weekend. Uh, you're head coach at WASP and uh, have also been on the court for them over the past few weeks. And uh, a lady also who stepped into the fold is Monia Gerard. She's the head coach of uh, Seven Stars. And let's hear from her now. Tony wants to consolidate. Do you think they'll do that tonight, Natalie? I think they will. I think they've got the team that can actually put a performance that can beat seven stars. And obviously they've got Megan Craig at the back and I think six foot eight, she's a target for them. And we really looked at that spine through the... Well, I think it'll be interesting, the big loss of, of Storm, because it's all well, very well having these target shooters, but you've got to be able to feed them. And I think that's where Storm have probably... Tonight, seven stars take on Surrey Storm. And the first centre pass is Jane a piece. Uh, seven stars were five goals up in the second quarter at one point, but Surrey Storm have made their way Way back to 29 apiece. I'm here with Nat Natalie Seaton and Tamsin Greenway. First off, Natalie, your thoughts on the first two quarters? I'm really impressed with Seven Stars. I think defensively they have been phenomenal, especially Jodie Gibson. They've come out with ball absolutely everywhere. And I think we always talk about Megan Craig being this anchor, six foot eight, really tough to mark. But that actually showed us how you can actually win ball off them. And what's been really interesting is they've been able to convert a lot of that ball. So I've been really impressed by them. Okay, how impressed have you been, Tamsin, by seven stars? Yeah, I have. They, they had a slow start. Storm got the momentum in that, in that defensive end. I've got a couple of clips that could just show how creative they have been and starts that quarter from Surrey Storm. And I think it was triggered by how Stars came out after the break. The change worked for them, Hodge England coming on, really opened up that space. They were getting direct sense pass ball and suddenly Storm went, wow, and stopped putting the ball in. What you started to see it towards the end of that quarter was Storm just letting the ball go again. And that yeah, Seven Stars really seemed to shut them down though. Um, let's have a quick look at some of the, the stats and uh, Natalie, what, what stands... It's been a revelation for me. She's came on and made a real impact in the game. I think the Rock got a little bit stuck. It got a little bit lost behind the big defensive unit of um, sorry, Storm. However, England has given them two people to think about. So she's really split in the circle. And for me, they've capitalised on the, all the hard work defensively they're doing. OK, well, it's all to play for. Join us in a couple of minutes' time. The second half, Seven Stars taking on Surrey Storm. Incredible performance from Ellie Cardwell there. I'm here with uh, Natalie Seaton and Tamsin Greenway. Natalie, just how impressed were you with her performance this evening? I think what was so impressive was the fact that she's playing against one of the top goalkeepers in the league. And what she knew, she couldn't just do one thing. She couldn't be a one-trick pony. She held, she rotated. And what she did was so, was so interesting is that she was able to keep on changing her angles. However, what contributed to her playing so well was the feeders outside. They acknowledged that Nader Hutchins got such quick feet that if she's on one angle, the ball may not be placed in the way you think it is, so they've placed it to another area. And she was quick and get around, and I think she had so much confidence. She went into the game with a lot of confidence. She stood up, she took her shots. She wasn't scared if she was at distance to put them up. And I think once you have a shooter like that, it instills confidence in the whole team, because you know that shooter's in great form and she'll put the ball up wherever she is. Yeah, some gymnastic moves from her tonight, Tamsin. And she says she, she really wants to hone this position and, and this she wants this to be her position. Well, I've never seen Moni Gerard smile as much um, after that performance. She's now with Caroline. Strict in space for Mickey Austin and Georgia Lees. Georgia Lees is very comfortable to get ball and turn and feed straight away. We didn't see her do that much today. And I think she was under so much pressure in terms of contesting at first to get the ball. And then Rebecca only had hands over all the time to restrict view. So it made it really difficult for her to do her job. So Rebecca, and because they were working so well together as a defensive unit, the goal attack and goal 
wing attacks from Surrey Storm really struggled to see Megan Craig to start off with. As they got comfortable, because actually you don't need to see her, you just need to throw it towards the post. <laughs> but as they realised they had that confidence that they did release some balls, however, defensive pressure by um, Seven Stars was absolutely amazing. OK, it's time now to hear from uh, Tanya Hoffman from Surrey Storms. Get into that top four, Tamsin. I, I, I think it's too much of an act. We're really in the middle of the season where results are pretty unpredictable at the moment. Probably, and um, most coaches are probably hoping that they were be predict would be predictable, but unfortunately <laughs> they're not. I think what you're seeing is teams really coming together and they're doing their homework on the, the team they're playing against. So tonight, you've got Megan Craig at the back as a goal shooter, very tall, holding shooter, target, they annihilated that. They didn't make her a target anymore. And what it was, it was actually more psychological. She's still a target. You still can throw the ball in there. But psychologically, what Seven Stars did really well was they really made it very difficult for, um, for uh, Surrey Storm to feel confident about releasing that ball. And once they did that, that's when the indecision comes in and that's where you get your turnovers. So very open. Tamsin, between the third and the fourth quarter, you, you did say that you, you thought it, Surrey Storm would possibly come back because that's what they have been doing, but it, it wasn't to be. Why well, was that? Well, I said it was going to be a confidence thing, how they were going. Okay. Uh, let's ch chat a little bit more about Ellie Cardwell. And uh, for those of you who don't know, she's an angle, she's in front, she's looking for the ball to come towards her. She was always available. And I think that's more about how she felt about the game. So she felt good about the game. So she didn't mind where she takes the ball, could <laughs> be behind, could be in front. It, it didn't matter to her yeah. because she was in a really, and she had confidence as well that as Hodge England came through the circle it would open her up so they had confidence in each other and I think they def this is a definitely a partnership that we'd like to see grow even more as okay. the season goes on. Great stuff well we've enjoyed the seeing of come out on top